the two questions the risen lord asked mary of magdala are very pertinent woman why are you weeping whom are you searching for if we search for the risen lord in the wrong places we will be sad because the risen lord will not be met in the empty tomb he will be met in our life situations there is a deep search in our hearts for the fullness of truth the fullness of life the supreme joy and that's what the risen lord is risen lord coming to give us his life i am come that you may have life life in the full and that's what he died for to take our sin away the misery of our life away only when we find him only when he calls us by name only when there is an encounter with him our hearts will truly be filled only then we will be able to rejoice make our life a delight on the earth living with the lord mary was searching for the risen lord in the empty tomb there are many tombs that are empty the places we search for happiness and joy and truth and love and life an unholy relationship a lot of people pin their hopes on one person if i love him he or she loves me i will be the happiest person there's an empty tomb it's all hollow there are people who search for happiness in a good job a good job later leading us look for a better job a better job more money more name more fame it's an empty tomb the lord is not there the lord of love and peace and joy is not there is coming to meet us in the moments of our grief in the moments of our sin in the moments of our struggles when we are able to recognize the face of the lord as mary was able to when jesus came to her she thought it was a gardener the apostles in the outer sea in the midst of the waves and the storm when jesus came to them walking on the waves to save them they thought it is a ghost the lord is coming whether we are in the midst of a storm whether we are lost in any situation whether we are entangled in any sinful relationship the lord is coming to meet us he is the savior we need to open our hearts in prayer to accept him to accept him into our hearts as the joy as the peace and the hope of our life that's what makes life truly meaningful truly worth living